So ladies and gentlemen, today I'm bringing you guys a video on what is going to have to be the most useless and downright stupid gobble gums that we have in Black Ops 3 Zombies. These are going to be the gobble gums that you really just don't want to use because they're that bad or they just don't help you in any way, shape or form. So today, we're going to be just showing you guys what are some gobble gums that you guys have actually picked out over on Twitter and what I've thought of personally are just the worst gobble gums you can use in the game. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to drop a like on it shows you guys really supported the video subscribe to the channel if you are new to stay up to date with all my zombies content and comment down in the comment section below what is the most useless gobble gum you have in your black ops 3 zombies game it can be on any map i'm very curious comment down in the comment section below without further ado guys let's get in to what are going to be the most useless gobble gums in black ops 3 zombies so getting straight into the gobble gums the first one would have to be crawl space now crawl space is a gobble gum that allows you to get crawlers. Once obtained this gobble gum, you have five activations of it, and you can only get this gobble gum from Dr. Monty's factory. And yes, pretty much all it does is get your crawlers. You can do this at the start of the round, middle of the round, or end of the round, but really, what's the point? Let's say we're using this gobble gum on Garad Crovey, and we want to keep a zombie at the end of the round. You don't even need this gobble gum because if you go to higher rounds, we have these little things on Garad Crovey called drones, and they just fly around. Those can be our last zombies. Those can be our quote unquote crawlers. So why would we need this gobble gum? I have about 50 of them and I never use them. Speaking of gobble gums that aren't really needed in Black Ops 3 zombies, this one would have to go to unbearable. If you guys didn't know what that is, pretty much when you get a teddy bear out of the box, it goes away and it allows you to hit up the box again. I like to call this gobble gum the poor person's immolation liquidation because if you guys didn't know immolation liquidation, it spawns you fire sales and if you don't have that, you can use respin cycle where it gives you another chance of actually hitting up the box for free. But with unbearable, you have to spend 950 points either at lower rounds or higher rounds. It doesn't matter. You're spending points to get a really shitty weapon. I never see anyone take this gobble gum into any of the Black Ops 3 zombie maps. So there's really just no point of having this gobble gum. Okay, so this gobble gum, I don't know how it got into Black Ops 3 zombies, but apparently it's just for shits and gigs. And this is projectile vomiting. It says it in the name, once obtained this gobble gum you can make zombies vomit but the only way of making them vomit is by throwing your grenades and once it actually explodes apparently they vomit but I see this completely useless in a few ways the first way would have to be when you throw a grenade most of the damage off the grenade is gonna kill the zombie anyway so how are they gonna vomit when they're completely dead and the other reason this gobble gum just wouldn't be helpful in general is because who uses their grenades a lot I see no one using their grenades except for widow's wine and even when you do have widow's wine it kind of dies down the chances of zombies actually vomiting sure it's a pretty funny gobble gum but there's no point of taking this in to any of the black ops 3 zombie maps so with this gobble gum people like to call it the quote-unquote banana colada gobble gum with a few of its features actually removed and this has got to be called slaughter slide now once obtained this gobble gum in game what it actually does is if you slide grenades actually shoot out from your back and that's pretty much it there's nothing else to it you, you can all go home now that's that's seriously it now if you're wondering why people don't actually use this in game is because if you want to get from A to B in any of the Black Ops 3 zombie maps, you're pretty much going to have to slide the whole way there. If you have this gobble gum, grenades are going everywhere, you're either killing the last zombie or killing someone's horde, and it's just not going to end well. I've never taken this gobble gum into a map and used it seriously. It's pretty much just for comedic use, and it's pretty much just a spot out of your gobble gum pack wasted, so that's good. And finally, the last gobble gum on this list would have to be a fan favorite, and that is Licensed Contractor. Now, all this gobble gum does is spawn carpenters. Once you've obtained the gobble gum in game, you can spawn three carpenters and it gives you a little bit of points. But it's really not worth it because let's say a gobble gum costs 500 points. You buy this gobble gum, you get licensed contractor, you spawn all three carpenters and it's 200 points each, which in total gives you 600 points. Now I see why Treyarch have actually put this in the game. I mean, it does get you points, but seriously, who's going to be taking carpenters in to a Black Ops 3 zombies game? and using them at round 15, using them at round 20. Doesn't matter what round you get to, no one's going to use this gobble gum. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smack a like on it. Shows you guys really supported my videos. All the support on my videos lately has been amazing. And I just want to thank you guys for that. But if you're new around here, be sure to click subscribe to stay up to date with all my zombies content because you don't want to miss out on all that shit. So, you know, that's pretty much going to be the video today, guys. I'm going to be seeing you in the next one. Peace out and goodbye. Oh,